This is Neil Patelia. I run neilands.com about physics and mathematics. This video is about the units of electrical charge. The SI unit for charge is the coulomb. Another unit that's used sometimes is the ampere hour, so current times time. I'm going to start talking about charges and whether they're plus or minus, so positive or negative. An electron has a negative charge. A proton has a positive charge. You can also think about the absence or the lack of electrons leading to a positive charge. So if you imagine two charges, we'll say that the red is positive and that the yellow is negative. What's going to happen when these are close to each other? Basically, we're going to say that positive charges are going to move away from that positive charge because like charges repel and the positive charges are going to be attracted to the negative charge. So basically we can draw these lines. And depending on distance and where they start, they're going to go in different paths. The force of attraction is described by Coulomb's law. So basically the positive charges are going to travel along these lines going from the positive to the negative. They can be in a direct path or they can be kind of in a more roundabout way, depending on which direction they're traveling. But they will be attracted to the negative charge. So the positive charges will move in these directions with the white arrows. You can also think about what would happen if you had a negative charge that was starting off near the large yellow dot. Basically, Negative charges would go the opposite direction. They're going to be attracted to the positive and repelled from the negative. So they're going to do the opposite. The unit of charge is called the Coulomb. And this unit was discovered around the year 1784, which is when the scientists established Coulomb's law. If we imagine how many electrons it takes to have one Coulomb, we can imagine taking electrons and adding them up. But to actually get an entire Coulomb of charge, you need a lot of electrons. The reason for this is that when Coulomb was doing his work, this is a long time ago, and they didn't have the same technology to measure charge that we have today. So a Coulomb is actually a pretty large unit of charge. One electron is actually equal to about 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. So it's going to take a lot of electrons to equal one coulomb. That means about 6.24 times 10 to the 18th. In perspective, a million is 10 to the 6th, a billion is 10 to the 9th, a trillion is 10 to the 12th. So that's times 10 to the 18. It's a lot of electrons to get one coulomb. That's going to be a charge of negative one coulomb because the charge of electrons is negative. If we think about current, that might actually be a different way to think about what the units of charge are. So we can imagine a wire and charge moving through the wire. If you take one coulomb per second, we have a unit called the amp, which is the movement of electricity electric charge. Now, if we said that one unit of charge, one coulomb, is a lot of charge, then it actually turns out that one unit of current is also quite a bit of current. And actually 10 milliamps, so 10 times 10 to the minus 3 amps, is actually going to be painful 